everybody, welcome back to my channel. I got a little special guest with us today because he didn't want to be put down and decided to join us here in this video. I'm so happy that you all are here. You know what? I just want to say that I honestly can't believe that it's almost fall. It was literally like just a week ago that we put out our little mini outdoor pool and I feel like the weather is already changing on us. Don't get me wrong, I am so excited to share my fall crafts with all of you. And I'm especially excited because today I wanna to share with you all this cute little thing. My new best friend, this Cricut Joy, is amazing. You all know how I love the Cricut and how I used that for my wedding three years ago, so many DIYs, and now they've come up with this one. So I wanna share with you an unboxing of it and also just a couple of little projects that you guys can all do, especially for back to school. I'm so excited to share with all of you. So let's get right to it. I wanna say I am in love with my Cricut Explorer, but the joy, oh my goodness, you guys, this is literally super light. It's less than four pounds. It is smaller than a school ruler in length. Love this because it's super light and you can literally craft anywhere you want, but don't get fooled by its compact size. It can make so many amazing projects with 50 plus material options. And I'm pretty excited to make vinyl quotes and also decals or decals in Canadian for the kids' rooms because unlike my Cricut Explorer, the Joy is compatible with smart materials, which can also cut continuous shapes up to four feet and then repeated cuts up to 20 feet. I mean, it's crazy. So let me show you a couple sample projects you can easily make with this baby. So first we're gonna make some custom sticker labels, which is really, really easy. And it's great, especially for back to school at this time around. So I'm gonna start making one. This is for my daughter, Anatalia. And we are just gonna go ahead and go in our Cricut design space and go in the font section. And then I'm just gonna type in this belongs to. She doesn't go to school yet, but she will be going to Montessori. So I think this would be really useful for her there as well. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go into the font section again. And I'm just gonna write down her name, Anatalia. I love that and we're just gonna make this smaller. So I do wanna try and find a different font. Let me see, there we go, that's perfect. That looks nice. And then I'm gonna change the top font as well. There you go, perfect. So one is written and then the other one is kind of script. I like that together. Um, I find that it's a little bit simple. Let's try and put an image in there. I was looking for butterflies before, but let's put in a nice little flower. Let's go ahead and find that in the image section. Let me see. There, this one. This one looks perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and make that a little bit smaller. We're gonna put it right beside that this belongs to. And under the operations drop down, you wanna put down pen because we are gonna be writing all of this. So you wanna try and make sure that everything that we have here inside our sticker is going to be written. Perfect, that looks so cute. I like that. All right. So yeah, just make sure that everything is in pen form. So you can see that on the right hand side right over here so the flower silhouette you know all of our text is all in pen and not in cut so now we want to go ahead and highlight that and right click and we are going to attach everything as one so that it doesn't move on us <laughs> when we try to edit it but you can definitely still edit each one of them individually perfect all right, so now how are we going to cut this sticker or how is the machine going to cut it? Well, let's go under the shape section and I'm just gonna pick a circle. I'm gonna make it white so that it's easier for us to work with. And right here in the right side, we're gonna put that and drag it all the way down so that our font is in front of it. And so this is literally what's going to cut. The machine is going to cut this circle around. So you can make heart shapes, triangles, whatever you want. And so that looks good. We're gonna right click and then we're just gonna attach everything all at once so that it doesn't move on us once again. Make sure that the circle is under cut and everything else is in pen because we're gonna cut the circle and then everything else is gonna be written, of course. So there you go. Now you can create the size that you want. And it's great because um, Design Space totally gives you everything that you need, all of the information and 
We are going to be using the smart label for this. We're not going to be needing a mat, which is the amazing thing about the Cricut Joy. So there we go. We're going to attach everything all at once so that it doesn't jumble up on us. Um, this is how it's going to cut it, which is exactly what we want. And that is what we want with the smart label. So that's really all there is to it. I actually made this uh, label in a different program. And if you guys want me to show that in a different um, tutorial, comment in the description down below. But we are going to go ahead and make this. We are going to be using the smart label. So put down without the mat. And this is how it's going to be. All we have to do now is connect our machine to the Bluetooth and then pick the material. So we're just going to put down smart label, writable paper, or this one. You can also do the smart label vinyl, though it totally depends on which material you have. And so now we are going to get ready for it to print and cut. I'm just going to set this up just like that. Again, you don't need a mat for this one, which is amazing. This is like the first time ever I think that Cricut has done this. And so all you have to do is load it. So obviously it doesn't have the load button on the Cricut, but you just kind of have to push the material in and then you put your pen and then check it out. It looks so cool. I love the way, like I really love seeing this do its thing. Now we're gonna change our pen and then put in the blade. The blade comes with the machine, but of course it's nice to have a backup one because you're gonna be cricketing a lot, I know it. But check it out, look how beautiful this thing just cuts everything. It's unreal. It's looking good, it's looking good. And voila, that is that for the labels. Look at this, they look amazing. They are clear. I made different ones with different fonts. I'll show you another project here really quickly using our phone. This one is super easy. So we're just gonna connect our Cricut Joy with our Bluetooth. And we're gonna look up some teacher cards. Ooh, I like this one already. This was the first one. This one looks really pretty. It's nice and simple. We're gonna pick our finished size. Um, this is totally according to the car that you buy. I mean, you can customize your own, but obviously the we are going to be using the Cricut card mat for this one. So they do have several different types of um, sizes. So now we're going to connect our machine. I did buy the set that is just made for Cricut Joy, but obviously you can put in your own cards. Totally just depends on the size. Just make sure that it does align perfectly. And we're just gonna push that in. So this is how it knows that we are gonna be loading it. And then that's it. It's gonna start cutting it for you. It's super easy, super, super fast. And so all you have to do is pull it out to unload it. And then you just have to weed everything or you can literally just use a scraper or even like a credit card to take this off. And then it just easily comes off just like that. And voila, you have a beautiful, gorgeous card that's made in literally minutes through your phone. They look amazing. And that is it. How amazing is this cute machine? Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for joining. Give this video a big like and don't forget to subscribe because we do tons of great projects here every single week. And Leo says, thanks for watching. Thanks everyone, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.